So I can't get rid of him. He knew me back when I had braces and wore Jinko jeans. He knows too much. <laughs> I hate my best friend. He's stupid. I don't, I don't like him. You ever been friends with somebody that you don't want to be friends with anymore, but they're just grandfathered in? You know what I mean? Like, you want to fire him, but he's got tenure? And you're like, oh, man. So I can't get rid of him. He knew me back when I had braces and wore Jinko jeans. He knows too much. <laughs> he knew me when I purchased an Aaron Carter CD. He's, he's, I can't, can't stop being his friend now. He keeps my secrets. We get into a lot of dumb arguments. Arguments that don't matter, things that shouldn't happen, right? One of the dumbest arguments we ever got into was we were watching a basketball game and in the third quarter, LeBron James had missed a dunk. He looked over at me and he goes, ha! LeBron James sucks! <laughs> I don't know how much you all know about LeBron James. But LeBron James got drafted out of high school at 17 years old. He was the number one overall pick in the NBA draft. He signed a $95 million contract with Nike. Three-time NBA champion, four-time league MVP, youngest player to score 35,000 points ever. My friend Daryl has failed his driver's test four times. Four whole times. Daryl sucks, okay? Yeah. Yep. I didn't even know you got to take the test four times. I thought after you failed the second time, they were like, hey, you know what? Here's a $50 Uber credit. You don't get to drive anymore. <laughs> You're a danger to society. <laughs> He's a dummy. He asks, me, he asks me questions all the time that make me reevaluate my friendship with him. Has that ever happened to you where you're like, how bad do I need you in my life? <laughs> or you just gotta weigh the pros and cons? This is, dude, this is what he asked me most recently. He goes, Cam, we're friends, right? I was like, of course we're friends. He goes, would you take a bullet for me? I was like, from a gun? Are you? Are you are there bullets I'm unaware of? First of all, you're overly confident in my ability to take a bullet. I'm built like drywall. I'm, whoever's behind me is still gonna die. I'm not taking anything. Like shooting a ghost. Do you know how mad I'd be if I tried to be a good person and take a bullet for somebody? Be like, I'm a hero, and they still died? I'm like, I'm a good person. Did you still die? I could have just not got shot. Could have just grieved you. I don't even got health insurance like that. This is stupid. Now I'm in debt and my pancreas is gone. This is dumb. I don't know where my pancreas is at, but that's what it got me. He got mad that that was my answer. He was mad. He was like, that's messed up, bro. Cause I take 99 bullets for you. Like 99? What kind of shady things do you think I'm into? To where somebody's trying to murder me with that level of machinery, okay? And why is it taking 99 bullets to do it? Who's trying to kill me? A stormtrooper, Rambo, Helen Keller? Why can't you hit me? <laughs> Did I stand sideways? What happened? <laughs> frustrating. 99 bullets. They don't even sell 99 bullets. It comes in like a pack of 100. Are you saying you wouldn't take that extra bullet for me? You're a bad friend. <laughs> I say all that to tell you this. Just know, if it says hero anywhere in my obituary, that was unintentional. <laughs> Just know. Matter of fact, I put you in front of me. I don't know how I shot around you. That guy was amazing. <laughs> I don't see want to when I curved a bullet. I don't know, it's just funny to me to think somebody's like, I got you anyways. And you're like, oh man, I messed with the wrong guy. <laughs> I've, uh, I've had quite the weird week so far. I, uh, a couple days ago, I went to the store to buy a bottle of wine because clearly I sit down to pee and uh, it's easier, okay? You can play on Facebook, it's great. It is not the point. Uh, I, I, I got the bottle that I wanted, I went to the counter, I put it on the counter, as you do for purchases. And then the lady looked at me and she looked at the wine and she looked back at me and she goes, ha, no. Mm -mm. That was it, 
That was the whole transaction. That's not protocol, okay? You don't just get to go, no, mm-mm. You at least gotta look at my ID before you say no. I, I was upset, right? I wasn't mad that she thought I was underage. I get it. I look 17 at best, right? I look like a To Catch a Predator bait child. <laughs> Like, my whole job is just to set you up so I can call Chris Hansen and be like, he's in the kitchen, he thought I was getting cookies. <laughs> Go get him, he's being weird. <laughs> yeah, I, I look, I know, I, I've had this face my whole life. It'd be weird if I didn't, right? It'd be, it'd be weird if I like Benjamin Button. Like, if I went old to this, it'd be goofy. But this has been this the whole time. I wasn't mad that she thought I was underage. But I was upset that she thought an underage person would be buying wine. <laughs> in what world do you live in, Karen? <laughs> Where some 17-year-old dude is showing up to this house party like, <laughs> y'all not gonna believe this. I got Pinot Grigio! <laughs> yeah. Pew, 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 pew! <laughs> got that Grigio. Hand me the beer bong. I'm gonna funnel this Moscato. <laughs> yeah. Let's do shots of Chardonnay. Let's start a book club. <laughs> One dude's like, let's read the secret. Nah, Chad, you gotta go. <laughs> How'd you get the address to this party? <laughs> you and your flute gotta leave. <laughs> it frustrated me. It frustrated me that she thought an underage person would drink wine because that's not a young people drink. You know what I mean? Like, not one time in your entire life can you tell me a time where you've seen a 17-year-old dude be like, Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. This Merlot pairs so well with the Doritos Locos Taco. Mm, mm, mm. It is just something about Zinfandales in a Hot Pocket to die for. It has never happened, okay? You don't know a 17-year-old that owns a corkscrew, okay? That is, that is a psychopath. That is, how many bottles are you popping? Is, I'd rather you ID me for buying a corkscrew than for buying wine. I think there's two things alcohol-wise we should stop IDing for altogether, right? Wine and bourbon. Yeah, because no matter how old you are, if you're drinking them, you've earned it. Yeah, think about it. If you're drinking wine, clearly, you have a lot of emotions. You're going through some things. And if you're drinking bourbon, you have no emotions. You've been through some things. You've earned it. <laughs> Daryl's dumb. <laughs> I just, it feels better the more I say it. It just feels good to just get that out because he can fight and I can't tell him that he's dumb. He, uh, I hang out with him all the time. <laughs> like I shouldn't, like I should be doing, I'm not good at time management is what I'm saying. Like. I could be back in college or getting a job, but no, nah, instead I'm like, mm, what's Daryl doing today? <laughs> we hung out recently, cause I don't know if y'all saw this, it was the 10 year anniversary of Paranormal Activity, and we thought it'd be a good idea to rewatch it after 10 years. We thought it might've become a better movie. <laughs> nope, still sucks. Uh, this movie, I don't know how it got worse. It was a bad movie to begin with. It's still bad now. And uh, it did make me realize two things though in watching it, right? It made me realize one, I don't care about ghosts at all. Ghosts have never affected my life in any way. I don't have ghost friends. I've never met a ghost. I don't care about ghosts. And the second thing it made me realize is that ghosts are just rich people problems. That's it. Because ghosts only haunt houses. I've only lived in apartments. Yeah. I don't care about ghosts at all. Matter of fact, if you have a house, I hope you have a ghost. Yeah. You and your 401k. Yeah. That's what you get for being financially stable. You get a ghost. That's what you get. Right? And you know, on top of that, if you have a duvet, I hope you have two ghosts and a gremlin. No? So honestly, I don't know what a duvet is, but it sounds delicious. It sounds, sounds tasty. Okay, I'd eat a duvet. It sounds like it's on an Applebee's two for 20. I'd, <laughs> I'll split duvets with all of y'all. Sounds like it goes good with breadcrumbs and sriracha. I don't know. I'd eat one. <laughs> I, uh, you know why you've never heard of a ghost haunting an apartment? Why there's never been an apartment ghost? Because I'll break this lease. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't care about this lease. I'm 25. Credit's not real to me yet. <laughs> I'll move in today and move out today. Yeah, I don't care about. It. I own seven things. It'll take me 43 minutes. Yeah, I'll move back in with my mom. She misses me. <laughs> I'd feel bad if a ghost haunted my apartment. You'd be so bored. What's he gonna do? Flicker my one lamp? <laughs> Matter of fact, good luck. I didn't pay the electric bill. <laughs> yeah. Matter of fact, you turn that lamp on, you better leave it on, okay? I'm trying to do puzzles. I'm trying to... <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I've been doing something recently where I'm trying my best to hang out with my grandparents more. I think that's important for young people to do. I think young people should hang out with their grandparents as often as they can. But I'm going to tell you why they don't because it's exhausting. <laughs> it is. You learn things that you can't unlearn, okay? It's just knowledge being thrown at you that you just, you're stuck with it forever, all right? Everything was going great. We were eating dinner. Everything was fine. And then my grandma broke out a scrapbook. And we're going through this scrapbook picture by picture. She was like, look, this is a picture of me with my first car. This is a picture of me at my first job. And then we got to a picture of her when she was in her mid-20s. My grandma was looking fine. <laughs> Super fine, okay? Too fine to be my grandmother. <laughs> and with the sepia filter on it, the brown filter that's not supposed to make you attractive, the one that'll turn a 10 into a seven, now she was still a 10, okay? <laughs> I know it sounds weird, I know it's weird. It's weird to say it, okay? It's weird. But do you understand that it's ruining me? I have to live with this knowledge for the rest of my life. It's ruining me. Because now, every time I try to talk to a girl, I'm like, yeah, you're cute, but you ain't Nana. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm sure you have good qualities, Candace, but you can't make no snickerdoodle cookies. <laughs> mac and cheese recipe has one cheese in it. Get out of here, rookie. <laughs> Can't compete with Nana. She's got legacy. After I saw that picture, I had to high-five my grandpa. <laughs> I had to. I was like, dude, I don't know how you did it. You're ugly. Because I guess game runs in the family, I guess. I don't know. If anything, I'm mad that my Nana settled for my grandpa. Yeah, she had all the qualities and attributes to be a gold digger, but no, she settled for love. This is dumb. Could have been rich. Could have had a rich grandpa, but nope, he's just a good one. This is dumb. <laughs> That's where we're at in society, is just be like, hey, I got a good grandpa, but I also don't have a million dollars. And one of those things buys me a boat. And <laughs> <laughs> the other one just gets me a really good thank you card. It's a good card. There ain't no boat. <laughs> I love my grandpa. He's a good dude. Every time I hang out with him, I learn something new about him and his life. It's very interesting to me. I, uh, I recently found out what my grandfather's favorite game of all time is. I always thought it was the uh, poker. That was poker. And uh, so he was like, Cam, let's play my favorite game. So I was like, all right, I'll go get the cards. He goes, no. My favorite game. I was like, first of all, why'd you say it like that? I was like, that was real ominous, okay? I didn't like that. And he goes, I wanna play my favorite game. Turns out my grandfather's favorite game of all time is called, uh, Why I Hate Your Generation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some of you know the game. <laughs> he's amazing, he's undefeated. He's never lost. <laughs> he's great, he brings up good points. I can't even lie, there's good points. He's like, Cam, you young guys, you just don't get it. You don't understand what it was like back in my day. We used to be able to go down to the record store and get a record for a nickel. I was like, wow. You guys used to pay for your music? I was like, that's crazy, Pop Pop. I don't know how y'all made it out. <laughs> y'all didn't have line wire or nothing? Nothing. That's crazy. <laughs> I feel like I'm 12 years too late for a line wire reference, but that's fine. That's fine. Because those of you who get it, we all had viruses. And you know what? That's a bond that we share. <laughs> we all had to throw away two computers. <laughs> all because we wanted that Shania Twain album, you know? Ugh. Ain't going to impress me much. Why was it so good? Is this... <laughs> 
I'm a dumb person. I didn't. I am. It's fine. I like being dumb. It's more fun. Er, I don't know. It's, being dumb is great. Is one of my favorite things to do as a dumb person is to uh, argue conspiracy theories with people who care. <laughs> If you have 37 minutes to waste in a day, do it. It's the best. <laughs> my favorite conspiracy theory to argue is the moon landing, right? Whether we went or we didn't, it doesn't affect my life at all. <laughs> if anything, that'd be the most American thing we've ever done to fake one of our nation's greatest accomplishments. That's America written all over it. <laughs> if you saw that in the newspaper tomorrow, you'd be like, ah, yeah, right, we did. <laughs> we tricked y'all for like 55 years, you bunch of bums. <laughs> See how far away the moon is? Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't, I don't have proof or anything factual to prove that we didn't go to the moon, but I do know this. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind is a perfect quote front to back. You can't get better than that. And that's how I think Neil Armstrong didn't write it. I think he had a ghostwriter. Because nobody in this room right now can tell me another Neil Armstrong quote. That's not sketchy to y'all. He's a one quote wonder? Nah. You don't just say one cool thing. You're like, cancel my interviews, baby. I said everything that needed to be said. <laughs> All I know is this, right? Neil Armstrong was a regular dude who got shot up into space. And as a regular dude, I can speak for us in saying this. My first thought when we land on the moon is it going to be, I got to say something profound that's going to change the world. My first thought when we land on the moon, I'm going to hop out. <laughs> Yeah. I just want to give a shout out to Lisa Gonzalez. She didn't think I was going to make nothing in my life. Look who's on the moon, baby. Yeah. Remember when you said we needed space? Ha! Look who got it. That's my ex-girlfriend. I hate her. She sucks. It's, it's, <laughs> and it's good to say that on the special. Like, it feels so good. It feels so petty. Mm, I love it. <laughs> I miss her so much. I, miss her. <laughs> I do. Man. <laughs> We've been broken up for about four years now. And I didn't start missing her up until last month when she decided to change the Netflix password. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do, guys. I miss her so much. <laughs> I was halfway through Stranger Things. <laughs> <laughs> we got into a lot of arguments before we broke up. We, got into, we argued all the time. And uh, one of the biggest arguments we ever got into, she was like, Cam, we don't go out enough. We don't go on enough dates. We don't do enough things. She was like, honestly? I wouldn't have dated you if I knew you were this broke. I was like, what? Well, what did you think I meant when I said you're all that I have? <laughs> what did you think that was? You thought that was a metaphor? I told you up front, you are my everything, okay? <laughs> you're into Netflix, all I've got. <laughs> Comedy's such a weird job. It's weird, because there's no real reason for you guys to be listening to me right now. Like, in no other setting would you care what I had to say. You know, like, if we were at the mall, you wouldn't be like, that little lesbian boy's probably got good ideas. <laughs> You'd be like, ah, he looks weird. I don't know. <laughs> Comedy's just weird. All I can do is think that something's funny and give it to you in a way to where maybe you can laugh at it too. And I say that to say this. This next thing will not have affected your life as much as it's affected mine, but maybe I could put it into words and terms to where you'll understand where I'm coming from. Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce. <laughs> and nobody cares. And it broke my heart and my brain at the exact same time to think that a man that ugly could cheat on anybody, ever, okay? And I don't know if you know how ugly Jay-Z is, don't worry, I'll tell you. I'll describe him perfectly. Jay-Z looks like a ninja turtle. And not a good ninja turtle, like Donatello, the worst, ugliest ninja turtle. 
is the one with the stick who don't do nothing just shows up like I got a stick and they're like why are you here this is dumb. like if they did a live action version of the Ninja Turtles they'd be like you think Jay-Z could play all four of them you think he has that range as an actor Did that whole bit just to tell you how much I hate Jay-Z. That's all that is. That's all that is. And I'm not saying that I'm the most handsomest man, okay? I, I look weird. I've been told weird things my whole life. I, the other day, this lady came up to me and she goes, you have such an androgynous look. And I was like, oh, no, 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 I like women. Cause I didn't know what that word meant. That's not what that word means, guys. That's, I had to Google it. It means a person that has both male and female characteristics. I was like, I don't know if I'm more mad that she's right or that I had to Google my own roast. <laughs> I'll tell you guys this quick story and then skedaddle. I, uh... <laughs> when I was in middle school, I was getting picked on, I was getting bullied, and I didn't know how to handle it. So I went home, I told my dad what was happening, and this was his advice, word for word, and it is to this day, the worst advice I've ever received in 25 years of life, okay? He looks at me, and he goes, the next time he picks on you, hit him with your lunch tray. Yeah, like in a prison movie. Shawshank Redemption style. That was his advice to me. And I go to school the next day. I'm getting picked on. I'm sick of it. I stand up. I pick up my lunch tray. I hit him with it in the face. But what my father failed to tell me is that back in his day, they had metal lunch trays. I had a styrofoam lunch tray. Okay. Yeah. And you know why? Styrofoam lunch tray because this generation was giving people concussions, okay? <laughs> they switched out lunch trays faster than they did football helmets, okay? <laughs> this is insane. I hit him with this lunch tray. It didn't even break, it wobbled, okay? <laughs> I like whooshed his hair a little to the side. I made him handsome. This is stupid. <laughs> he proceeded to beat the brakes off of me. He beat me up so good, I had to respect it. Like, I was impressed, all right? <laughs> He beat me up like we're playing Mortal Kombat and he unplugged my controller. <laughs> I was taking combos I didn't even know existed. I was like, how'd you do the double uppercut? <laughs> You're a Power Ranger, this is crazy. <laughs> After the fight, we had to go to the principal's office. It was me, him, and the principal. We sat down, we told him everything that happened and I didn't get suspended. Do you hear what I just told you? I didn't get suspended for the fight I started. The principal was like, no, 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 you weren't even in that fight. Mm -mm. <laughs> Flawless victory. That kid is amazing. He should, he should drop out and join the UFC right now. This kid is a, he's wonderful. The worst part by far was going home, telling my dad what happened, and my dad looking at me and going, hey, you win some, you lose some. I was like, what? I love you guys. Thank you very much.